local environmental organizations get an update on radioactive soil found at Jana Elementary that came from Coldwater Creek. Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman is outside the Hazelwood District's administration building where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers made its presentation during tonight's school board meeting. Stephanie. Well, Jana Elementary sits along Coldwater Creek about seven minutes from here, which is being cleaned up from a legal dumping of radioactive waste. The contaminated soil likely there for the last 20 something years. Recently, crews have been identifying areas where contamination still occurs along the surrounded creek corridor. Though the Army Corps reassures the public that contamination isn't a risk to people's health or the environment, much still lies at spotty, high traffic areas such as Jana Elementary. The property line ends in the bottom of the creek bank where the contamination was found. A fuse wrap is working their way down Coldwater Creek. They're sampling within the 10 year floodplain, uh, FEMA 10 year floodplain, uh, because Coldwater Creek is known to flood. And so they're, they're aware of, of certain areas that they should be looking at. And as they work down the creek, this is just where we happen to be now. During its presentation, the Corps said it will monitor the creek water and sediment twice a year in 11 locations and confirms no further contamination has occurred. Russo says the Army Corps of Engineers hasn't been transparent, claiming in one email to a concerned parent that Jana had contaminated soil and then excluded them in a report shortly after. And we can't guarantee that these soils are not inaccessible. I mean, it's just along a creek where kids go to school, where kids play in parks, where homes are located. So and unless the public is not made aware of the dangers, then there absolutely is a possibility of exposure. According to the Corps, more than 190,000 cubic yards of contaminated material from the Manhattan Project has been shipped from three North St. Louis County sites to a state disposal facility. We all need to be doing this together. This is a legacy problem in St. Louis, and until we tackle it as a legacy problem and as a whole community, we're really not going to get anywhere with it. You can find the full presentations from both those organizations via the YouTube page for Hazelwood School District. We have a link to that on our website. That's fox2now.com. Reporting in Florissant, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.